Hello, this is Anastasia Gores from SMB Marketing. In this video, I want to show you how to set up packages inside of your Acuity Scheduling. We already have our appointment type set up. You can preview the, uh, the previous videos to see how to set that up. Next part, we're going to navigate to the Packages, Gift and Subscriptions. In this section, we're going to set up different types of appointments. So I already set up my packages on in this particular example, but let's start from scratch. We're going to create a new package and let's say we are creating five private sessions. We're going to set a price for it. So we're going to do it um, 350 category the category helps us view these packages on the um, in our back end over here on acuity scheduling so it's easy for us to make changes or find the package that we're interested in also if you're displaying these packages on um, your website on the scheduling link these packages are going to be organized in these blocks into these categories so if a person um, if your client comes to your store and wants to buy a package, they can find the type of session that they're interested in. So I usually put the number over here, uh, like 01, 02, or 03. That way, the, my categories always are going to stay in that order because they go in, um, in the descending order on, um, on the product page. We can add a description, picture, all of that. So this is a private session, so we're going to add it here. We can get printable gift certificate. So basically, if you're selling it as a gift option, you can do it here. Expiration, um, we're going to have 182 days, which is um, six months. Total uh, redeemable for total number of minutes. Now, this is the part where um, acuity scheduling gets a little tricky for some people. When we set up our appointments, we set the length of each appointment. So for our private sessions, the length of the appointment was 50 minutes. If we're selling five private sections, that means that we need to multiply 50 minutes by five times, which is 250 minutes. And this is going to be our length. We can also have amount um, unlimited of disappointments and total number of appointments. That's an option as well. Um, if it's a private session, you can do total number of appointments. If, um, if you're using multiple types of sessions that the package can be redeemed for, which we'll take a look at with classes, then minutes work better. So for this, let's say we can set it to Private session is going to be five private sessions or um, and then we're going to add a package. We can see that our new package appeared right over here. And this one doesn't have hidden. You see, we don't have the label for hidden. Um, let's go back real quick here and take a look. So if we check this box our package will be hidden from the scheduling and from the store if you're displaying them or sharing the link with the customers. It's really useful if you want only to sell packages, but you want to manage the scheduling and everything else on your end. So you will be able to still link to this package on the website, but again, it's not gonna be visible on the schedule page. So we're gonna save it, make sure that it's there. Now let's go back and we're going to add a five pack for our group classes and we'll see the difference in that. So new package, we're going to have five group classes and the price is going to be 150. We're going to choose our category the same way expires after make sure you set your expiration date don't forget it and we're gonna keep it as hidden as well over here now in this case we have five group classes and i want this to be available for both virtual math classes or regular math classes 
So if I'm setting total number of minutes, my classes are still 50 minutes, we're going to set it to 250. It means that my client can use any type of these classes. When you're adding multiple class types to your schedule, for example, um, in Applied World, you might have a tower class, you might have an equipment class, or a former class, or um, level one class, all those things. And you might want to add them so that when clients sign up, they can see different class descriptions. Um, it's easier, it's best to set up your uh, packages for group classes using minutes because then you can make the package redeemable for any type of class that you have available or particular ones. Let's say for you know, your equipment classes are going to be um, tower, pole, chair, reformer, whatever it is. All of them are going to be available there and you can update your package so that the clients can choose the classes that they want to sign up for. So we have 250 minutes. This one in particular is for virtual math classes and math classes. Clients can choose whichever ones and we're going to add a package here and we see that it showed up. Where did our lost it? Where it's, okay, here we go. Five group classes over here. Now you can see that by default, the single sessions, you might not think about adding them to this package, to the packages because you already have the pricing on the schedule page. I went ahead and added the single session for both privates, dads, groups, whatever we're offering here to my packages and you set it up the same way. So if it's a single session, it's redeemable for one private session or one class or um, 50 minutes of whatever it is service that you're selling. But that way, if I am linking to the store here, so if I want to share the link for all my clients to view the private sessions, we can see that all private session options show up here. Again, this is a direct link. I'm sharing it only uh, with the clients that I want to share it for because all of it is hidden. If I didn't include the private sessions, then the clients wouldn't be able to see this private session here. Let's take a look at how the link for to purchase a private session is different from the appointment type link. So we are, let's first open up our link. So we're going to click on this direct link and we can open it up in our other tab. We can see that basically they're purchasing a single session and then later they can schedule and they can contact the studio owner. They can contact you to schedule it. Now let's go back to our appointment types. And we can see over here that we also have our private session and we can also have, but this one says direct scheduling link. So let's see how this one looks. Like. We go here, it still shows us that it's a private session, but we automatically have all the stamps and we can set it up to how we want the stamps to appear. Obviously over here we have a five minute increments, which is not ideal. This schedule is not set up for that. But that way client can automatically book a time, continue and book a session. If you don't want your clients booking directly on the scheduling page, don't give them this link because it will only frustrate bo both them and you give them the purchase link. So once they purchase, then you can schedule them themselves or they um, can contact you to schedule and you're going to proceed with that yourself. So I hope that explains how Acuity uh, packages work. We also have um, subscriptions, which are basically memberships and you can set it to unlimited classes or a certain number of classes. Again, um, by the minutes or by the type of class that you want to make them available for. Um, but this way you will know exactly how to set it up and how to create package links for your clients to purchase and to use so that they can sign up for your services.